Hello everyone. It has been hard recently finding up-to-date news on Ukraine because they have been sort of squeezed out of the news feed by the events in the Middle East. I am still trying. Um, I am going to uh, more Ukrainian and European sources directly since you have to really dig. So here's what I have for you today. After a fairly long break due to the successful use of the uh, Patriot um, missile defense systems, Kiev is once again seeing a rise in shelling and in uh, kamikaze drone attacks. Um, again, this is a similar plan that Russia was using last year for the purposes of intimidation as well as targeting um, all of the uh, various parts of civilian infrastructure, heat, electricity, water, etc. This piece appeared in Washington Post, and I am just kind of surprised that it took them th this long. Washington Post is usually more on point and on time with news like this, but basically it's just more information about Russia releasing um, pretty hardcore prisoners um, and sending them to the front lines against the people of Ukraine. Um, we're not just talking about murderers, it's also thieves, rapists. Uh, some of them are serial cl criminals, so they're only too happy uh, to have a carte blanche to go and do whatever the heck they want. As we are dealing with the delays in um, American aid for Ukrainians, uh, Europe is doing its best to step up. Um, there was another piece, I think, in Kiev Independent talking about Bulgaria, which is treading a very fine line between Russia and Ukraine, trying to help Ukraine kind of under the table and trying not to aggravate Russia, which I think is kind of a useless effort, mostly because Bulgaria still heavily depends on Russian oil. But basically, Bulgaria was considering doing uh, something similar that... Uh, uh, to what Korea um, and China were doing, which is using the old Soviet stockpiles it's got to send whatever it can to Ukraine to use up. And that is stuff that Ukrainian soldiers already know how to use. They already know how it all works. Sure, it may be outdated. Not all of it might work, but it's better than nothing. So this is Something I definitely um, recommend. This came from a um, Ukrainian source called Sensor. Um, and I recommend reading this article. So remember all of the misinformation uh, spread by Russia about the Azov Battalion? Um, so somebody finally decided, okay, enough is enough. And they set up basically a kind of uh, Snopes. A website basically disproving all of those various lies. Um, and the thing is that it is a monumental job because this didn't just start a year and a half ago. They've been spreading lies about Azov Battalion for 10 years. So there is a lot there. Read the article, find the site, and uh, read up. And Ukraine's operations continue in Kherson regions. Uh, that is one of the pieces that um, all of the international sources are watching right now as uh, Ukrainian armed forces are continue, continuing to move forward inch by inch, meter by meter, uh, you know, slowly uh, winning Kherson region back and establishing additional footholds. Uh, for more troops and supplies.